like a lot of schools in Boston and schools in the country uh, for that matter, Chidik had their arts and music programs cut a couple years ago um, and since then they didn't have any music or any visual arts, anything artistic really at all, um, which is kind of a sad way for an elementary school to be, I think. The kids who go to school here should have a way to express themselves and should have music in their lives. From the top is a radio show that features young classical musicians, um, which is how I first met it actually, first heard about it. As much as they're about music, they're also about advocating for the arts and teaching young artists to be advocates and to kind of make a difference in their community. I wanted to find something that I could like take this huge powerful force that music was in my life and give it back to my community and do something great with it. Music Connects is in its sixth year of providing a string quartet residency at the Chittick Elementary. The string quartet is a model for learning, but also a model for social communication. So our relationship with From the Top um, is with their Center for the Development of Arts Leadership, and for the past couple of years have paired us with some really top-notch, amazing young musicians, and kids are interested in learning basically about arts leadership. What I really wanted was like that sense of connectedness with other people through music. And I wanted to like use my music to create relationships. So when I heard about from the top center for the development of arts leaders, um, that was kind of the next step. In that pairing, we have kids develop a project um, that enhances what we're doing. In the past, that actually has been working with kids that we haven't yet been able to serve. So um, the first year, Anna and Nash worked with then our kindergarten class doing a really great exploration of the musical instruments, the families of music. There is no other music at the Chittick Elementary. Uh, even though we aren't reaching every single kid, we are providing the only access Chittick kids have to music education. Like you walk through the school now and you hear music coming from hallways and, and empty classrooms all the time and kids running around with, with violin cases. Um, so it's been completely transformed from a place where that didn't exist at all um, to now the music community is a huge part of the Chittick. So this year there's, uh, there are the new From the Top Arts Leaders, a group of high schoolers, and they're working with first graders and teaching them basic musical skills and concepts and also to learn to play the recorder. I just feel like it's my duty as a, a human who's privileged enough to, to, to have this gift to play music. I just felt like I should be able to give back if everybody did that. You know, all, all over the world for anything, not just music. I feel like the world would just be a better place, and I, I just want to help you know, make the world a better place, I guess. Learning music for these kids isn't just about learning music. There's definitely just a strengthening of the sense of community, and they're all being united because they're all proud of their kids and, and proud of what they're accomplishing. Classical music, I feel there's just this depth of repertoire and beauty that I, I really sincerely believe is universally accessible. I just consider if I only taught one kid ever in this whole school, but I gave them something, or just even helped to give them something as powerful as music was in my life, and I made them feel more proud of themselves and feel empowered and feel like they can accomplish amazing things in their life, like just that one student would have made all of the hours that I spent driving here and getting lesson plans ready, it would have made all of that worth it and more. I think if people saw how just a little bit of effort and a little bit of, of, uh, of passion and dedication can change that so drastically for so many kids. I mean, Betsy was just one person um, who had like a vision for what this school could be and came in here and completely transformed it and transformed like hundreds of kids' lives. More people, need to realize that like they can do that and they can help with that. Just a little bit of effort can have these huge repercussions in an entire community.